Did Donald Trump actually consider dropping out of the presidential race? I've heard from inside Trump Tower from people firsthand that he was ready to quit. Historian Doug Weed makes the shocking claim in the just released Game of Thorns. It's one of the first behind the scenes accounts of the historic election. The author told me Trump planned to drop out after that notorious bus tape surfaced. Grab him by the I could do anything. There was a period where he was really broken and thought, man, I've blown this thing. And Reince Priebus and several very, m some thing. of the members of the family said it, it won't work, you can't do it. Do you know anything specific that Trump's family or Reince Priebus said to him to convince him to stay in the race? I think he wanted to be convinced that from, from, from what they told me, it sounded like he was wanting to be convinced and so they went ahead and convinced him. Now, get this, the author says Melania Trump, who famously rode down the Trump Tower escalator, wasn't happy about her husband running for president. Melania really tried to talk him out of it. She said, hey, what, what the heck, we don't need this. At the very beginning, she had said, we have a good life. Why do you want to do this? But Melania became her husband's staunchest supporter. Isn't he the best? and knew just how it would end. She was saying, sorry, pal, <laughs> if you want to be president, you're going to win if you run. So maybe she knew more about him than he knew about himself. The author says Bill Clinton suspected the same thing, but no one would listen to him. He tried to warn Hillary that she was losing voters in critical states like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Once after a phone call with Hillary, he took his phone and he threw it off the rooftop of his pad at the presidential uh, apartment in Little Rock, Arkansas. He was so mad. The rest, as they say, is history.